have been bereft of ideas. I keep saying and I want to emphasize that anything of consequence that will bankroll poverty has always come from the, the new patriotic party. So you are going to see another level of serious issues and a blueprint that will depend on so that we come out of our current economic difficulties. That's what I want to tell you. But it's not you sitting on the sidelines and criticizing MPP when you, did, you don't have any sense of um, a free senior high school. It came from the new patriotic party and that is a paradigm shift in trying to empower the nation even for the next 20 years. So very seminar and critical ideas will evolve out of this manifesto. But what is very important is that after the manifesto launch, we should all see that the future of this country is not it's not with the recycle Muhammad, but it's with Dr. Muhammad Ubaumia. Council, expectation for today, what should we expect from the manifesto launch? I could say one thing, that the agenda for the whole system to see the power of the new age, the power of digitalization will feature strong. Even, even in the energy sector, the commitment to let um, Ghana, a very tropical nation, I mean, deploy solar energy as a way of reducing electricity and the rest of them will, will be featured. A lot of things will be seen, but I believe you should spare me the trouble of trying to read a manifesto right now and let those people who have the power to do so go ahead. Council, but it's going to be a game changer. Briefly, uh, just uh, I mean, a bit on the Japalier document that is circulating. The NDC is trying to make it a true document. You are from the president's, I mean, by extension, a family member of the president. They claim that you want to capture the states with that document and all that. I think this is the first time you are commenting on this. What, what, what do you think the NDC wants to achieve? Well, you know, it's extremely infantile to know that a thief will document the modus operandi and the step on paper. So I'm telling you to, to believe that probably it's NDC that has forged this document. You got no sane person who believe that Oh, let's write a document for our own self-disgrace. It's a piece of nonsense that we shouldn't pay attention to.